What's going on, guys? Welcome to another Dominaria draft here on wizards.magic.eu. Uh, part two. Untamed Kavu or Eviscerate seem like the strongest cards in this pack. Well, I wouldn't be Mr. Lepore with an A because that is not my last name. And actually, uh, my name is actually in the chat right above you. Two, two, two messages above you, spelled correctly. So... And it depends on what, if, if I was teaching like elementary school or middle school or high school, probably one of the first two. If I was teaching college, I would probably let them call me by my name. I had some professors that I called by name. I'm going to take the Eviscerate. I think it's probably, this guy's real good. He's just a 5-5 five, five Vigilance Trample for 5. I don't want to be green though. I want to be Eviscerating. All right, we'll take the Kavu because you guys think Kavu is better. I don't like it. But I'll take it for you guys. So we're green. We're, we're green. We got a green card. No, it's okay. For you. No, no, no worries, buddy. Um, that's just a common thing people do. And it always trips me out because they do it in places where my name is clearly visible. Like you'll be responding to me on Facebook and you'll misspell my name and I'll be like, it's literally right above you. I don't understand. I think it's probably Cloud Reader Sphinx. I think it's stronger than Death Bloom Thalid. I go by Mr. Dr. Nephrium. Nephrium. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I like these three cards. I like Call the Cavalry, Cloud Reader Sphinx, and I like <coughs> Death Bloom Thalid. Um, I think this is the strongest of the three. So I'm going to take it. Oh, and a Journey Mage. Oh, and a Spore Crown Thalid. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Now I just want to wish I took the Death Bloom Thalid. But I also just want to take the Journey Mage as well. Even for five mana, this card's great. Thank you. Sweet Bragg, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. I think this guy's probably better. I'm going to take this guy. And we're going to see what happens. This is just a really strong card, especially if you have Saperling Migration or whatever. I will count on that late slime foot. I have the H3, H3 podcast song stuck in my head. Everyone is saying precognition field is insane. Is it? Is that true? Do we just try it? Is this our precognition draft? Precognition field draft? There's no good black... I was, I'm, I'm tempted to take a black card because I want to be black green sapperlings with this guy. I don't think it's necessary though and there's no good black or blue cards. So it's not true. Oh, oh. Interesting. Oh, we got to slam it. We got it. It's not true. Blink would obviously be my my second choice. Think of how good looking at the top card of your library at any time is. Some people love that. I'm going to try this because that's how we learn things. We try them. And we get a pretty good deep freeze here. It's not Pierce Sky's Blessing or Artif Artificer's Assistant. Although I do like having a Pierce the Sky in my... 45. Either way, I'm pretty uh I'm pretty content on these five cards so far. Got the old rare, double uncommon, powerful, two powerful commons. Seems good. And we don't necessarily need black for Spore Crown Thal. A lot of the good uh a lot of the good sapperlings are also just green, so. Hmm. And now we have an awkward situation where the only card that's really an option is Corrosive Ooze. I'm not a big 
I'm not a big Whisper fan. Especially because we're pretty heavy blue here. I'm also trying not to go three colors this time. What up, who cares? Because by Jun Dragon. Uh, I don't think it's... I'm more likely to be... I'm just going to take the corrosive ooze. I, it's fine. Oh, wow. All right. Now I feel better about our choices here. Well, that's pretty. That's a pretty good late pick up there. Trying not to go four colors, three colors equals will be five by the end. Oh, I wish that was more incorrect. I'm just going to take Druid here. That guy's great in the late. Great in the late. Also, uh, Tormentor's... What is it? Tormentor's Edict? Chainer's Edict? Chainer's Torment? I don't know what the hell the card's called. But it's the one It's the one saga that constantly tables. You don't get, take Precognition Field to be a disciplined two-color deck. Okay, that's fair. I think people were real high on it at first because they're like, you make an XX demon where it's going to be like 50. And then you're like, yeah, but you lose 50 life for that to happen. Oh, we'll definitely get, we'll definitely get the third, the third pack. Jai is emulating Inferno. 100%. Short sword or candle here? Hmm. Could also be broken bond. This is a broken bond format. I kind of like candle better. Yeah, it's removal. All right, we got a spore crown salad, but we don't have any spore crowns. Uh, none of these cards are super exciting. Oh, uh, I don't think broken bond. I don't. I, I don't think that means the format's broken. That doesn't. That doesn't really add up to me. Um. I'm just take card. I'm just gonna take the card I can play. No, well, here we cannot do such such things. Um, no, that just means there's a the the, the artifacts and equipment and, the, and, and enchantments in the format are good, which I think is great. I I like it when card types aren't completely uh, useless in in draft formats. Like, oh, cool. There's enough good artifacts that I can play them in my deck. There's enough good enchantments that I can play them in my deck. So. Brian, they finished the roof Friday and started building a recording studio for audio video podcasts. You know, that would be sweet, dude. I'd do that. Oh, it's just a word play. Yeah, okay, so yeah, the cap is definitely necessary there. Because people would think that. They're like, if broken... Bo oh, I guess we're just playing four colors. No, just kidding. Uh, probably Thorn Elemental here. I like Academy Journey Mage, but I think Thorn Elemental is really hard to deal with. Frank, new big fan. Been 25 years since I played. Arabian Nights just came out when I traded my cards for basketball cards. <laughs> oh, the sad thing is, like, look at your basketball card value and look at your Arabian Nights value, and it will make you cry, undoubtedly. Buell, also appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I'm going to take Thorn Elemental here. We're getting to a point where we might not be blue. But we're getting to a point where we might be as well. Shivan Fire is good. Saprling Migration is good. Eviscerate, Vicious Offering. Good. This pack is stacked. Oh my god. Tatsuko is great with Saprlings, but so are Saprlings. And might not be blue. Also, this is another source, instant or sorcery, so we can play it off the top of our deck. Yeah, I'm going to take the Saprlings. In a perfect world, you're a you're a six drop. Oh, uh, can you kick off the top of the deck? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Oh god, Rona. 
God, they're just going to make SB3 color, aren't they? <sighs> Boy. None of these blue or green cards are very good. Relic Runner? This is how it starts. <laughs> like, Rona's the best card in this pack by a, a large margin. Oh, another Trainer's Torment. Fantastic. And now we can play because we're black, so. Everybody wins. Danitha? It's got to be the Danitha, right? Now we're just four colors. This is how it works, right? We don't have any... I, this guy's not good. We don't have artifacts. I'm never going to play two candles. I don't think it's a bad card. I think it's a good card, but... I'd almost rather just have Partic Wander as, like, a... Just a big idiot. I'll just take Partic Wander. It's historic. Oh, God. I can't. It took everything in my power to not just take that Danitha there. Um, This is not a good pack. I'm just going to take the short sword. Which is fine. Could be glider, too. I guess we could take the glider. These packs have been really weird. I think the white is kind of open, but only because I'm seeing a Mesa Unicorn here. I think short sword's probably better than glider. Call the Cavalry? Am I just white? See, this is what I mean. Like, this is a late Call the Cavalry. It's probably Snapper, though. Yeah, we can just take a Snapper. Arcane Flight and Snapper. Look at, look at these. These are both very playable, so I, I think the white is very, very open right now. And we're, we're scavenging. I don't... Actually, the Green Memorial is my least favorite. I've seen two people whiff off the Green Memorial. It's pretty hard to... It's because it's only creature, it's not land, right? Like, you can't get a land off of it, so you literally just sacrifice it. Hope there's a creature in the top five. And, uh... If there isn't... Too bad. I really want Arcane Flight on Coldwater Snapper. I really want Sarah's Wings on Sarah's Wing. Oh! Alright. Now we're talking. Weight of memory is really... Look, another call of the cavalry. This is unbelievable. The white cards are just insane. Someone's getting a very good white deck. It could have been May. That's from uh, Justin Timberlake, in case you guys didn't know. Eh, just take Primordial Worm. Primordial Worm with an Arcane Flight is also just fine. I don't foresee us playing Rona here, but... Stranger things have happened. I guess it's just Calico, Calico, Calico Skin Witch. Like the, I want to take the Power Stone. If we get multiples of these, I might play two. Ramp us to five. Our threes and fours are not great here, so. Plus we have a lot of top end right now. Eh, Relic Runner's fine. Especially with Short Sword and our double Power Stone Shard that we're going to play, so. Justin Timberlake is a streamer. He streams uh, PUBG. He's a PUBG streamer. He's in a. He's on a. He's on Team Insync. Oh, I was gonna take this unwind earlier for the sideboard. So, you know, everybody wins. Another ooze, huh? 
Okay. My friend's job was raffling off Justin Thrilly tickets for Tampa, box seats, and dinner and drinks. It's currently at 1500 Oh, God. Ugh. I mean, 1500 that makes sense. Like, it's Justin Timberlake. I would go see Justin Timberlake. That is just an entertaining gentleman. Isn't he the guy from Blink? No, that was, uh... No, you're thinking of, uh... Joey Fontaine. Is that his name? Not to be confused with Frank Fontaine, who is in Bioshock. Every time. Thor Elemental, Gorger. Fatone? <laughs> oh my god. It's too late, Michael. We already heard it. We already know. I think it's Gorger over second Thorn Elemental. Nothing else in this pack is very good. We could take this this Raph. We have all the trappings of a five color deck except for zero fixing whatsoever. Either way, I'm taking the Bayloth. Oh man, a settle score? Good lord, these black cards. Unfortunately, this is double black, so not really splashable. I will take this Lana War Elf if that makes you guys happy. I was gonna take this spider, but I guess I can see Lana War Elf being good. Would you con oh I like your Would You Kindly reference. That's nice. That was a good one. I don't want to imagine if they reprint Jitte with any set. Let's put it that way. That does not feel like good business. You're an 8 drop. You're an 8 drop. You're a 6 drop. Nah, you're a 4 drop. You can stay there. Thank you. Oh, Hungry Howie Bot. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Bringing you flavored crust value for two months and beyond. Amazing. Actually amazing. Kavu is a five drop. I agree with that. I rarely want to play this guy on two. Also, Power Stone Shard is better with Kavu at five. So, I'm wondering if this is any good. Oh, Ancient Animus or Spore Crown Thalad. They pump each other. Ancient Animus is good removal, though. It's actually medium removal. I feel like more often than not, I'm just literally... I'm two for wanting. Yeah, I'm going to take the Spore Crown Thalad here. And if we can get one more Sapperling Migration or the, the Spore Infestation, I think it's called. The one where it's like... Three one ones at instant speed. I'm going to feel okay about things. Everything's coming into place. I don't actually think our blue is that good. Actually, these two are very good. This could be very good. This is removal. It's not terrible. The problem is we have zero legendary creatures right now, so we're going to have to pass this for the first time in our lives. Oh, God. Toss the Thalid? What is that? Oh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. I was going to take Llanowar Elf because I think with double Llanowar Elf we can probably play 16 lands. There's no way we can... We can't even cast this right now. Oh, I guess we play Rona, right? We just play it off of Rona. Just hope they don't kill our Rona and then we... Deep Freeze may wheel? There's not even a Deep Freeze in this pack. How could we possibly get it back? There's a Yargle. We could Yargle our, our Jaya's Immolating Inferno. I'm just going to take this Syncopate here. So now we get to play 16 lands, which is sweet. Also, turn 1 Elf is turn 2 Power Stone Shard. I actually do want one more of these. I do want to play 2 and see how that goes. None of these cards are very good. Crossan Druid number two.
Well, it's 16 with also Lanowar Elf, Lanowar Elf, Power Stone Shard. So it's, it's, it's 20 sources of... It's 19 sources of mana. This guy is actually just fine. It helps us cast Weight of Memory, Sapling Migration, Syncopate, Wild Onslaught Kicked, which is pretty sweet. Oh, wow! That's a late Sapling Migration. Yes, please, with our double Sapling Thalads. All right, now we got to cut some stuff. All right, I do want a broken bond. I was hoping one would come back, so that was nice. I think that's the last new pack, so everything else is pretty much... Uh... Hey, look, we got a gift. Yeah, I can see cutting ooze. Ooze is a sideboard card. Not super thrilled about him. I do like Shard here. I, I think I want to try it out just because we have double Lana War Elf and because uh, ramping to five or six even seems better. I don't even like Relic Runner that much. Uh, okay. So this is 13 creatures and two migrations, so it's actually 15. Hey, a glider is better than Relic Runner as far as I'm concerned. All right, that's pretty sweet. That was a nice late pickup. Another gift, huh? Yeah, this deck is kind of middle of the road. It feels a little clunky, but I think we have a lot of good late cards. I just want to make sure we hit them. So I'll make sure I play 16 lands. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Eh, whatever. Erdin, congrats on the 7x today. That's pretty sweet. Apparently that's how Arena works. I don't know the uh, I don't know how arena works when it comes to drafts, so I'm just gonna play it like this. I think this is our deck. Ten six. We'll do nine seven. Um, and it, we're not gonna play void because I do want green. I do want double blue. So. This is definitely a deck where we uh, too many playables was not an option. So. Was not a problem, I guess I should say. One X and got three packs? How does that work? Yeah, I like Syncopate's a nice catch-all in this format where you're like, oh, well, you got your your bomb rare, I'll just counter it. This is fine. It's not exciting, but did they play first? I chose to play first. Okay, I was like, did I win the roll? I don't know what's going on. I think I blacked out. We're going to top deck Syncopate, so that's going to be nice. Oh, well, that guy's just fine. That makes me feel good, because I really didn't want to play either Untamed Cavu or, or Migration on turn two, so. I see. I still don't want to play either of those. Um... Sixteen lands. I'm actually okay with this. Uh, so we can't play anything. Next turn we can play four guys or either we can play everything next turn except for this guy. So that's pretty good. 
Probably just gonna play Cloud Reader Sphinx so that we can scry two lands to the bottom. And unfortunately have it countered by Syncopate for one. Oh, or not. All right. Excellent. All right. Watch, now it's going to be two spells. I always feel like when it's two spells that I want to keep. Actually, I don't want to keep either of these. Oh, Primordial Worm with Arcane Flight, though. Is that good? Probably not good enough, though. The pack assignment is random from one to three, no matter your record on Arena. That seems super weird. Hey, you got seven wins. Here's a pack. Hey, you want one through. Here's two packs. What? Why? Well, that's pretty good. Obnoxious. Hmm. I guess we'll just play this guy here. Can't really attack, unfortunately. Because then we just take a million. And they give this guy flight. Don't do it. Alright, that's fine. Oh god, it's not because of the stupid relic runner. Here's their slogan, do better, get less. <laughs> Alright, well that was actually not an invoke I really care about. Plus one, plus one really doesn't affect us that much. I think he's still just alpha here. Oh no, alright. Well, I have no incentive not to get in there with infinite ground guys because they just don't block anyway. Wild Onslaught one time off the top. That's all I've ever wanted. Yeah, figured. Yeah, because like even if I had Short Sword on there, it's still 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We go to 2. Wild Onslaught one time. Yeah, or an island. So they block here, they take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we had a way to get rid of this guy, then we could win. If we got a wild onslaught, we could win. Instead, we die. Wow. It's a lot of lands in the 16 land deck, but what do I know? I want I might actually want Arbor Armament or Broken Bond. Yeah, definitely Broken Bond, maybe not Armament. Keep. All right.
Billy, why would you do that? Did you consider winning instead? Where was there a PPTQ? I would have probably played in that. Sulfur Falls. Look at this guy. Look how fancy. Billy, I still love you, buddy. You're still my favorite, Billy. I don't want to play any of these cards yet, but maybe that's correct to do so? It doesn't feel correct. Feels correct keeps Cinco paid up. Green white mid range splashing Teferi. Ooh, send me that list. What was happening right now? No one likes a braggart opponent. Hey, oh, look! I have a I have a, I have a land that complements my co the colors of my deck. No, I don't want you to have this. All right, keep the lands coming. Oh, we did it, boys! Get a Kavu next turn. <clears throat> I like that you may look at the top card of your library at any time. Uh, it just means, like, here, just have the top card of your library. You know what I say about that Kavu, right? Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! That's true. He is thick. He is a thick-ass boy. Ooh. I don't think you're blocking. God, why is Broken Bond a sorcery? Oh, what are you doing here? Blink? Wrath. I'm not sure I understand. That was a weird choice to play that there, because now I can just now I can just free play wait here. Try to hit a land. <laughs> You're just 5,000 candles in the wind. Oh, we hit a Syncopate. Look at that. And a Joyra. Woof. Syncopate and a Joyra. Look at this guy. Look at this fancy man. So Precognition Field has already paid for itself by letting us draw one card, essentially. Wow. 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 What a time to be alive. Can I just kill this? Just 5,000 candles in the wind. Opt, huh? Sure. Oh. Oh, all, all of your rares could not save you. God, I really wish we had either Pierce the Sky or, uh, 
I guess just pierce this guy. <laughs> like, Arbor Armament actually seems good, but... I actually think this is good. Like, they have infinite flyers. Like, in addition to the flyers you saw game one, they also have Raph, Adelies, and... Uh, <laughs> Shalai, whatever that card is called. So... I'll just cut short sword. Or power stone. We'll cut the power stone. Billy, did you send me that list yet? I'm getting real I'm getting real tired of it, buddy. I'm re I'm getting real tired of waiting. It's probably been at least three minutes since I asked you. This is un unreasonable. This is fine. I will keep. <laughs> oh, Billy. No, I love you, buddy. Oh, all right. The shortest of swords on turn one. God, he linked it and I didn't even see it. I'm such a bad friend. This deck looks great. Oh my god, this deck has everything. This deck does everything I want to do in Magic. I do hate Ryu. He spelled my he spelled my last name wrong with an A, and that's my pet peeve. And now we're no longer friends. Oh boy. Spore crowned attack. This is a good four four three three on turn three. That's pretty good. What up, Chris? Whenever you cast a sword spell, draw a card. Sure, that's that's fine. I mean, if you want to trade a Joyer for one of these guys, let's do that. Oh, you just want to take seven there. Interesting. Just 5,000 candles in the wind. Oh, a little, oh, a, a Nabin, okay. <coughs> Did they play land first? They played a planes. And Adelies, draw another card. Oh, you're gonna play something for four. If you created 32 counts and subbed them all, I'll forgive you. Only in that moment may we still be friends. What are you doing here? Do you know that you can only use this for instance in Sorcerers, right? You can't cast your, your Academy Journeyman Mage off of are off of Arcanist and three lands. I'm very intrigued by what's happening right now. Land or Elf. A land is almost fine with the way things are going here. Whatever. Do what you got. I got I got a million dudes, I'm just fine with whatever. You gotta block something. Double block? Let me get that sweet, sweet double block. Single block? You gonna bounce this guy? Oh, are you gonna are you gonna blink it and you couldn't you couldn't double pay because you didn't have double blue? You couldn't kick? No. You're just gonna add one and take go to three. Huh. What the hell is going on? What in the earth? All right, you're at three. You didn't do anything. I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, no attacks whatsoever. Oh, there was the Lanaware Elf. We were just one turn off. 
So I will assume you have Wrath in hand. You're going to draw a card. And then we just get the white boards. Let's white boards. You play Wrath. There you go. You draw your card. You go block, block, block. This guy becomes a 2-2, two -two, so you get to do all your things. And then we just get to play 7-6. Six, six, and hope you don't have Syncopate for 1, I guess. There we go. Everybody dies. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I hope you don't have single paid for one. Single paid for one. Amazing. I mean, I think this is better to have on board, so I guess I hope we hit a land and... Okay, that's not impressive. All right, I got three power on board again. <laughs> sure. I don't even know where I was typing there. You know what? Sure. If you want to block and have a trick, I'll play Thorn Elemental and ideally kill you. Burr dirt. Burr dirt, 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 dirt. Oh, wow. That was a great trade. Thorn Elemental. Your move. And that's the end. Take your take your rares and get out of here, nerd. Let's try again. I will play first. I'll keep this. The old double spore crown thalid deck. Woo! Wow. It's all Kyo Kyo it's old uh, Kiyoki himself. Case is one of my really good friends from Seattle. I uh, love him to death. Oh my god! And Adam Kiyonaga, his brother, is in the chat! Whoa! Oh my god, Kiyonaga Inception, this is amazing! We're gonna go hard here. Oof! Look at this beating. Adam is a knuckle tickler. Whatever that means. I think you know what it means. We're two men away from this guy, so I'm just gonna play him to keep the keep the pressure on. Man, Spore Crown Doll with Arcane Flight. Get floating, boy. Oh, that was sad. <clears throat> I mean, we have lethal on board, so that's good. I 
Oh, this guy's gorgeous. Because <laughs> it's a gorger. You get it. All right. <clears throat> this is it. This is the penultimate turn of the game. I will not block. Well, that's a thing. That was a good draw. Never didn't have it. Go to two. Woof. What a what a game. This has been a quite the experiment here. Woof. Woof. Look at this guy. Look at this red, this blue black Torgar. Torgar. Hogar. I don't feel like anything else is really, uh, nothing we really want to sideboard for. Case is, is like my nemesis. I think he typically crushes me. Keep this hand. And case went to six. Oh, dang. Oh, this is nice. This is a turn for untamed Kavu. Nothing. Oh, feels good. Oh, yeah, this is great. This is working out well. Shard into either one of these into this guy. Oh, yes. What's happening right now? Oh boy, we're having a good time. Having a good time. Is it five five? Or it's just Cloud Rider Sphinx, right? We just want to hit gas from here on out. Cloud Reader, not Rider. Uh, bottom you and keep you on top and go wide as we can go. So we don't have to worry about rating and lighting, probably. Maybe. Up oh, now we do. I lied. Dalkery, always appreciate the content. Can't wait to watch on Wednesday. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Ooh, do, do, do. Um, I'm just gonna attack you for three. Hope you don't have like. I guess it, you could have whatever. I don't even care. Do do what you want, Case. It's up to you. <clears throat> um. Let's go ham. I'll trade a Sapperling Migration for a trick if you have it. Oh, we just get to trade two for a Crocin Druid. That's a good deal. Oof, one more land. That's a good. That's a good one. That's a good one, if you will. We just have all the things to do. If he had Radiant Lighting, he would have just cast it last turn. And then attack for four, which would have dealt seven and put him way ahead. All right, I'm just going to do the same thing. 
If we're trading whole cards for half of a uh, half of a sapperling migration, I am okay with this. Plus, it leaves us less susceptible to a card like. Oh, all right, that's good. <clears throat> well then. Do 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 uh. So he could have dealt three, put him to nine. Then he blocks another one. We deal two more and put them and put him to like a like nothing. Two, three. We can also during our upkeep uh, get rid of. This is actually great because. If you block the thorn elements, we can just deal the damage to this, so you can you can't get this back with memorial. <laughs> okay. Seems good. So we're gonna exile this this forest at the beginning of our upkeep. I don't think it's gonna matter though. <laughs> oh, the old Gotham Forest, the classic. Oh man, Adam Kiyonaga, <laughs> beautiful. Oh man, that's amazing. What a time to be alive. I get randomly paired against Case and Adam happens to be in the chat. Wow, that's great. I miss you guys. Every day, every day. Dockery, not only did it go through, I thanked you for it. I said, thanks. I really appreciate it, man. That's awesome. And I read it out loud. So that's that's weird. Ah, oh, this hand is not exciting. I'll keep it, though. They went to six. Maybe they go to five, right? Who knows? Anything can happen. Oh, they didn't. That's so rude. Why would you not go to five against your opponent? Like, come on. You're just trying to, you're trying to win the game or something? I'm just gonna candle here. We just sent 5,000 candles in the wind. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it, forests. I get it. Here comes a power stone shard. You ready? It's a little bird. Valkyrie, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Oh, I see. You're going to Wizards Lighting my bird. That's rude. Hmm. You counter this guy? Do you not like my Spork Crown Talon? Are you going to Shiv and Fire this guy? I'm totally going to Shiv and Fire this guy. Got three cards. No, I didn't think so. Didn't think so. I totally thought they were. All right, that's one of your. That's one of your three cards. Okay. I always. I'm always like, hey, can you mold a zero? They never do. But one day. Hmm. We're going to put this on you because next turn we're going to candle this and then uh, that's cool. It's a green and blue defender. It's a fungus wall. Everybody knows Everybody knows about the fungus wall. My opponents, when they mull, my opponent mulled to zero and conceded once, my opponents never mulled to zero. They always mulled to like two or three and then they just scoop and you're like, okay, well. And I understand that. I can get behind that mentality. Oh, an old divination, huh? I'll play a land. Did you not hit a land off your divination? I would be surprised if that was the case. Hmm. 
We give them a free card at some point, but they don't have a 3-3 that pumps their other wizards on board either, so that seems more important to me. Oh, we're one mana away. You gonna do some shenanigans? Oh, you're just gonna draw a card? Sure. Exile my Naru. <laughs> the Naru. What is that from? Is that from Avatar? I don't know. This Wild Onslaught has the promises of a good card. They have seven cards. Seven ma Oh, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> the Naru are from Warcraft? That's correct. That's funny. I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of, uh, like, the quotes. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Oh, come on with that. This is dumb. You're dumb. Land. I actually want to land this time. Single paid for one. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, do it for two. Good idea. Broken Bond, it definitely comes in. Yeah, that's probably the only thing I can see breaking in. We are playing 41 cards with 16 lands, and we're still getting a ton of lands here. <laughs> oh boy. Seismic Wave, have a good night, buddy. <coughs> Okay, well, that's big. I just want to get some dudes on the board. <laughs> Plus, if we draw, draw a Spore Crown Thalad, this is a decent amount of threat. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. That's incredible. Wow. So every deck we play against has, like, infinite mythic wizards, right? Infinite rare wizards. Just 5,000 candles in the wind.
La da 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 da. Oh, just gonna take four. I'm assuming next turn you're gonna. Actually, you could have journey mage this turn, so I don't. I don't know if I super understand what's in your hand, but. Sure. All right, well, single paid for one, this guy. Oh, never. Mm, okay. Hmm. Well, I'll be. I assume they have better cards than we do, but I don't know. That's a good card, though. Just 5,000 candles in the wind. All right, Wizards Lightning, that guy, sure. That's a, that's a fine trade. There they go, land Varix. I was waiting for this moment. Oh, well, I guess not. Intriguing. I kind of like unwind against them, to be quite honest, but it, I wish it countered creatures. Dude, where's my spores? No, I actually, I got it. I heard it. I laughed a little bit in my head. <laughs> Oh, more so now that you've pointed it out. <clears throat> this is actually putting a counter on it is pretty okay. I feel like that's a reasonable trick. <clears throat> the the problem is they have syncopate, which which we saw. I assume they have they have burn spells too, which is nice to get around with unwind. They also have double deep freeze. All right, we'll bring this in. Take out the Power Stone Shard again. And Power Stone Shard was great when we played it and then ramped it to five mana, five mana, six mana guy. Oh, the turn one elf. Oh, this this thing is actually amazing. If only we had the Steel Leaf Champion guy, the five four for three green. That'd be amazing. That's probably just better here. You can't syncopate it, so that's cool. Well, I'm not going to run my guy into your 2-2 again, so. If putting the fear in me is what you wanted to do, congratulations. <clears throat> I will however 2-2 you. <laughs> okay, so you had it. Good to know. Yeah, that's fine. So one, two, three, four. We have five next turn. We can we, if we draw, if we just hit lands, we have all of this. If we don't, we we can do other stuff. <clears throat> if they have another wizard, we're gonna feel real sad about this attack, but. I guess we're just hoping they don't have single pate. I mean, they always do, except for last time, but this time they will, so. Or wizard counterspell. They have five cards. That's a lot of cards. Yep. For three. Ooh. All right, well. Hmm. Hmm. Got another one? Oh, you do have another one. No, oh, no. Well. well, I'll be. Well. Our two best cards are still left, so. Okay, sure.
You got it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Got a bird. Put a bird on it. What a trickster indeed. Bounce my little bird? Okay. Yeah, I didn't think you'd have another counter spell, but now you're gonna go land Varix. I'm waiting for the land Varix. Like that's your that's the card I'm afraid of the most. Sure. Okay, you had a land. What? This is a weird attack. Block block. Pick costs. Sure. <laughs> Get rid of everything. No cards in hand. Sounds good. Take... Get busy thorning. Thorning amounts on glider is a two-turn clock, so that's pretty good. We get to attack for eight, put them to ten, and then we get to attack for eight and two. So that's pretty good. Fingers crossed for no deep freeze, I guess. I mean, if they double block, I'll probably just kill both their guys. Okay, they didn't double block. So they get two cards to look at here. There's the second one. They can't cast Varix. They can cast a Deep Freeze, which is pretty obnoxious. Oh, that's pretty good. So they're going to go block here, no blocks here, block, block, I guess. Or they can try to kill the Thorn Elemental. Which still leaves them having to deal with it next turn as well. This card's really good. Two cards on the bottom. All right, so that's good for us. That might, does that do it? Yeah, because then we have two two power flyers, right? That wins us the game, I believe. Got him! Good games. Uh, sign. Oh, all right, we'll kill you and you first. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Doesn't do anything. Uh, I don't know how this works. Sign Thorn Elemental Contest to Velvet Fine as it would. Yes. All right. Sweet. The old 3 -0. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. That deck turned out better than I thought it would. And uh, Thorn Elemental is a hell of a card. Uh, if you guys haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons and uh, check out my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash franklapore. If you guys want to help out and support the channel, that appreciate it a lot. You also get a lot of unique content on Patreon and uh, every little bit helps. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.